This is just a quick little video to answer a common question that people have in econometrics classes. A lot of times you'll be reading a book or your professor will go through an example and they'll say that instead of using the original data, what they want to use is the mean-centered data or what they're doing is they're going to subtract the means from the y's and they're going to subtract the mean from the x's. One reason for doing this is it makes the notation when you're discussing uh, some of the algebra behind ordinary least squares a little simpler to write if you do it on mean-centered data. Uh, and I just wanted to show you visually real quickly why this is okay. So I, sometimes I get the question, why do I get the same slopes but the y-intercept is equal to zero when I subtract the mean from my data? And it's easy to get an intuitive feel for what's going on here. Suppose this is the data that you are looking at and that this was the regression line that you'd be estimating here. Suppose that the mean of the x's is around 8 and suppose that the mean of the y's here is somewhere around 12. Then if you subtract the mean from the x's, what you're doing is you're basically taking all the data and you're sliding it over to where the mean is zero. And that's not going to change the slope that you get. And then when you mean center your y variable, what you're going to be doing is subtracting 12 from that data. And so that's just sliding down all those points by 12. And you can see that we're going to get the same slope coefficients out after we mean center the y and mean center the x. Or if we just subtract the mean from one of the sets of data, if we just subtract it from the y, yeah, so if we go back about where we were here, if we just subtract the mean from the y, what that's going to do is keep the slope the same, but it's not going to set the y-intercept to be zero, right? You see that the y-intercept of this line is going to be minus five. In order to get the y-intercept to be zero, which means as if the x value on the regression line is zero, then the y is zero, then what you have to do is mean center both of those variables, both the y's and the x's. And there you see that when x is zero, y is going to be zero as well. So again, this is just a quick visualization video. I hope that helps you understand how this actually works when you're doing the math for a regression.